Hello everyone, I'm Mara Benitez, Library Assistant at the Seeking Public Library. Monarch Butterfly Season is upon us here in Central Texas, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make an origami monarch butterfly. To start, you will need to make a square of paper. The size of your square will determine the size of your butterfly. I'll be starting with the regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of orange paper. To make the square, take one corner and fold it across, lining up the short edge of the paper with the long edge, forming a triangle. Crease it gently, then cut off the excess. Open up your triangle and fold the opposite ends together, creasing gently. Open it up again and flip it over so that the creases sit on top like a pyramid. Fold the paper in half, crease it gently, and open it up. Use your hands to pop the pyramid back up into shape. It should now have the two side creases that you can collapse inward to form a triangle. Lay your triangle flat and crease the edges well. Take the bottom corners of the upper layer of your triangle and fold them up to meet the top point and crease these edges well. If you're going to decorate your butterfly wings, now is your chance. The two corners you folded up will be the bottom wings, and the corners sticking out on the side will be your top wings. If you're making a monarch, you can leave the very tips of the corners blank. We'll be folding these back at the end. Now that your butterfly is beautifully decorated, flip it over. Take the point of your triangle and bend it up back just over the edge. Don't crease the bottom. This curve is what will give your butterfly shape. Fold the point over the edge and crease that point well. It won't want to stay folded, so keep it pinched between your fingers. Now carefully pinch your wings back and together. The point should be pinched between the crease and should then hold. For a different type of butterfly, you can leave the wings as is, but for a monarch, we'll take it a step further and fold the corners of the wings under, creasing well to keep them down. And voila, you have a monarch butterfly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep an eye out on our social media for more activities and crafting tips, tricks, and ideas.